Hello everybody, how are you doing? If you're living in Canada and if you want your parents or grandparents to live here along with you, then you should definitely watch this video because in this video we'll be talking about the Parents and Grandparents Program 2020. Now the last few months have been really tough for most of us and many of us have been away from our parents and grandparents. We definitely want that they should be with us. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the overview of this program. We'll also discuss the eligibility criteria to ensure that if you're eligible or not. We'll also discuss the step-by-step -step process. How should you actually apply for this program? So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello guys, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and yes, press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Let me tell you that now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you're there on Insta, you can follow me at Dreamers Abroad. It's all about fun, all about my life in Canada. If you have any queries about the immigration, we've got a Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group, which has got more than 76,000 people helping each other achieve their dreams. So if you're on Facebook and if you have any queries, you can join this Facebook group. Okay, let's start with the overview for this program. Canadian citizens and permanent residents are able to sponsor their parents and grandparents to immigrate to Canada. Parents and grandparents approved under this program receive Canadian permanent residency and eventually they can also apply for the Canadian citizenship down the line. What are the benefits? Obviously parents and grandparents if they want they can work in Canada, they'll also get the health benefits and all the other benefits that the permanent residents and the citizens get. Now talking about the quota for 2020, so ISCC has set the maximum quota for 10,000 applications for 2020 and for 2021 they have set the maximum quota for 30,000 applications. Generally they take 20,000 applications every year but because of COVID-19 things have derailed a lot so they would be actually accommodating those 10,000 next year and this year they would be accepting only 10,000. Just to give you a brief history of this program, Earlier this was a first come first serve basis but last year when the program got opened around 100,000 people actually tried to apply for this program. As a result it's being said that the site got crashed. So this year they have decided for it to be a lottery system. IRCC will randomly pick applications from the so called pool. But before we discuss that in detail and the process we can talk about the eligibility criteria. So the first criteria is that you should be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident then you should be 18 years of age or older you should be residing in canada physically and you should exceed the minimum necessary income level for this program we'll discuss what's that and you should be able to financially support the sponsored for 20 years obviously your parents and grandparents would be old it's not expected from them that that they would financially take care of themselves and also the government doesn't want the burden on them so they want you to take that responsibility for the next 20 years you should be able to take care of them financially. Okay, now let's discuss the necessary income level. Okay, before we discuss the income requirements, let me scroll up and read out few very important points. Here they have written that because the program has opened later than usual this year, obviously because of COVID, sponsors will be invited to apply near the end of the year. So we expect to get applications in early 2021. Because of this, We'll assess sponsors on their income for tax years 2020, 2019 and 2018. Now the good point is that they're considerate enough that by that time you might not have the 2020 notice of assessment. So for the 2020 process, they will accept the application if you include your 2019 and 2018 NOAs or notice of assessment along with it and submit 2020 NOA as soon as it's available. Okay, so now the Income requirements is like this that you should have minimum 32,899 people if you want to sponsor two people. So let's say if you want to sponsor both your parents in that case, you would actually need this income for this year. For 2019 and for 2018, it was higher. For this year, it was supposed to go higher, but they are considerate enough that many people have lost their jobs. So obviously that should not stop them from their family reunification. So they have lowered the minimum income requirement for this year 2020. Similarly, this is a table if you want to sponsor three or four or five different people, you can actually check out the minimum income requirement. All right, now let's discuss the step by step process. Step one is to ensure that you meet the eligibility criteria. The second step is to complete an interest to sponsor form on IRCC's website. It's already there. You can go 
and apply it until 3rd of November. His third step is that LCC will conduct a random selection lottery of up to 10,000 applications. And the fourth step is that you'll have 60 days to submit a complete sponsorship application to RCC if you're among the lucky people, lucky 10,000 people who get selected from that draw. So mind it, if you're eligible and if you're filling out that form, it does not mean that you'll get the permanent residency for your parents or grandparents. However, if your name is there in the lottery, however, if you get the invitation, then obviously you would be able to sponsor your parents or grandparents for the permanent residency of Canada. Now let's quickly check out the form that we have to fill in the step two. Okay, this is the interest to sponsor web page. If you're interested, I'll provide the link in the description box below. You can check it out and you can fill this form. It is available until November 3rd. Okay, before I proceed further, I want to highlight a very important point that they've mentioned here is that you can't sponsor your in-laws. You can only sponsor your own parents and grandparents. If you want to co-sign your in-laws application, your spouse or partner must be one of who's invited to apply as a sponsor. They're very strict about it. They've clearly mentioned that even if you're invited to apply, you can't use your invitation to sponsor your in-laws. So basically this is the web page that you need to fill. This very basic information that they've asked here about the sponsor, you know, the name, the date of birth, your address, and they've also asked details about your parents or grandparents uh, who you want to sponsor. So if you have two parents, you can actually go on to add one more parent here. And if you have any grandparents, if you want to sponsor them as well, you can keep adding them and put their name here. So if you actually get lucky in the lottery, if your application is among those 10,000 applications that, that get selected, in that case, you'll actually get a confirmation number. So, and they'll tell you after that what to do, what's the process after that, how should you take your application forward. But yes, the first step is to apply through this form that you need to fill. So if you're interested, you can go ahead to fill this form. Some very basic information is required here. So thank you guys. That was all the information that I wanted to convey through this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any queries, please put them down in the comment section below. And yes, if you have any feedback, please let me know through the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? You should click the subscribe button right now.